So let me tell you guys a fucking story, right? Nestle in, fuck boys. <clears throat> Dude. Okay. So let me break down the whole spiel, right? Let me break down the whole fucking thing. So we leave Saturday morning. We're headed to Texas. Me and Anna head out. I'm driving down there. We get down there. No big deal, right? No big deal. Another day. Been down here a couple times. Know where we're going. Head down there. Anna's got her own thing with her mother-in-law and uh, her sisters. They're going to go shopping, do some stuff, right? So it's going to be me and some dudes with guns. With some fucking guns. So we head out. It's me and this other dude. And he's like, hey, man, I got a 223 and I got a 22 pistol. And I got a 22 like rat shot rifle. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's go shoot some shit. He's like, all right, I got some old barrels and like a washing machine and we're just gonna blow shit up. I said, hell yeah, baby. So we roll up and he's got this like, he's got this propane tank, right? Or like helium tank, I don't know which one. And it's got this little spigot on the top of it. And he's like, bro, I've been trying to shoot that thing off for years and I cannot shoot it off. And I was like, well, I was an all right shot back in the day. Ain't shot in a couple years. Let me give a crack at it. I roll up, standing. Bring the gun to shoulder. Kasplois. Knock the spigot off. I'll go dig it out of my bag here in a minute and show you guys. I shoot the spigot off. I'm like, damn, bro. Thank you, Emily. Lane hasn't read Lord of the Rings. Fake fan. Hmm. Anyway. So, thank you, man. I love you eight months. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, uh, so, so I shoot the spigot off, right? I'm like, damn, bro. We're, we're cranking, bro. We're thumbing, bro. We're in there like swimwear, baby. So, we vibe. We shoot. We get some good practice in. And then the night comes. The night time. And we're in there. Alright? And so I'm talking to my father-in-law and he's like, Hey, meet me over here at the gas station. That's where this guy Randy's going to meet us. He's going to hook us up. He's going to take us out in the woods. He's got some plots out back. And he's going to let us shoot some shit. And I was like, hell yeah. Bro, so we roll. So I roll up, right? And I'm expecting, like, you know, a country boy. Like, I'm expecting a guy that's driving, like, an 84 Ford diesel. And he's towing, like, a, like the original, you know, old shitty, like, gator side by side. Like, that's what I'm expecting us to get into. Like, I'm not expecting this to be much, right? This guy rolls up in a brand new 2021 a uh, Dodge Gladiator, like Jared, excuse me, not Dodge Jeep Gladiator, right? Behind him, he's pulling a custom-made gooseneck, and he's got a brand new 2021 Pan Am side by side. It's like a sixty thousand dollars side by side, four seater, heated seats. He has a submarine scope sticking out of the top. That's an infrared scope, so he can like find them. He has a. Uh, he has like 12 different spotlights on this thing. He has cut these custom, I don't know what these ARs are, but they have suppressors. Each one is kitted with this uh, this Rattler infrared scope. They're like $2,500 each. The gun is like $10,000. He has custom made, uh, uh, he has custom made ammunition. So in Warzone, the M13 has this ammunition type called a 300 blackout or like dot 300, 300 blackout. That is the, the ammunition type. I don't know exactly what that means. I have no idea if that defines like the powder. I don't I don't know if that's like the the diameter, like some kind of dimension. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means. Big boy shit though. This shit will fuck a man in the ass. And it will probably fuck like an elk up as well. It's a pretty it's a pretty solid round, right? And I was like, yo, what are these things good for? Like, where like where are you no lead? He's like, you could probably shoot dead on 200 yards right there. Boom, instant. He's like, once you get to like 300-ish, you have to give it a little bit of lead. 
And he's like, 400, you know, so on and so forth. He's like, but I probably wouldn't take a shot beyond 200 yards. And I was like, holy fuck. It's doped at 200. He's like, yeah, the scopes are doped at 200 yards. Meaning, like, if, if I'm aiming at your cock at 200 yards, I will hit your cock at 200 yards. Like that. And I was like, okay. So, so anyway, we roll up. Randy, I don't know this motherfucker. I don't know this motherfucker. I don't know him from Adam. Like, he walks up. What's your name? I'm Lane. Nice to meet you, man. Shake his hand. He's like, all right, man. <clears throat> You're one of the son-in-laws, right? I was like, yes, sir. He's like, cool. Come over here to the side of the truck. I follow him around. He just rolls up. He's got the gun. It looks like an M. It looks like a. It looks like an M13, but there's not like a foregrip or anything. He's got a silencer, this big ass infrared scope. He's got it held up, like pointing this way. He grabs the. I don't know what it's called, but basically how you cock the motherfucker, right? Like he chambers it, grabs it like a little T thing, pulls it, let's go. He turns it, hands it to me. He's like, "All right, man, you get twelve grand in your hands. Good luck. You better kill some shit." And I was like. Okay, and he's like, so your safety, he's like, if it's this way, you're good, throw it down, if it's going to the sky, it's gonna die, good luck, brother, and I was like, okay, and so he hands me that, he hands everybody out their guns, like, alright, everybody get in the fucking side by side, we're gonna kill some hogs, so we go out, and he's this fucking submarine thing, tooling around, right, and he rolls around this, like, little ravine, and he looks through this thicket with his, like, singular, like, scope that he has, he looks through and he's like, hey, there's some hogs on the other side of that ridge. Everybody get out of the side by side. We're going to walk. We got to walk over there to him. I don't want him to hear us. So we get out. We walk up. He like, he balls us up. And he's like, all right, on the other side of this ridge, they're under a tree. He's like, listen to me. He's like, I'm going to tell you guys, you will shoot one round. After you shoot one round, if they're still nearby, well, I'll tell you to fire. If I tell you to fire at will, you shoot as many bullets as you can, as fast as you can, and as many hogs as you can. He's like, grab your shooting stick, which is like, it's a bipod, but it's like a stand-up bipod. So he hands it to me, and he's like, all right, look. We're going to walk around this hill. I'm going to say one, two, three. When I say three, the second I make the sound, shoot. Pick your hog, shoot. Okay, you got it. No big deal. So we come around this bend, and we're up by like right on this fence row, right? And there's all these hogs under this tree. There's like five or six of them. And uh, he's like, all right. One and I'm like, oh shit! So I pull the like I break the 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 bipod out. I put it down. My scope goes out. Oh fuck! So I like I'm dicking with the scope. I hook the battery pack back up. I'm like jiggling it, trying to get it to come back on. He's like two. I'm like, oh fucking hell! My scope comes back comes back on, and I'm scared. Just me and one other guy shooting. He's not shooting. He's like, I'll kill stragglers. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill anything. Like if you guys knock one. I'll put it out of its misery, but don't waste your ammo. Because we have to pay per bullet here. Like, these are expensive-ass bullets, so we have to pay per bullet. He's like, so, you know, like, just, just, you know, I'll put them down. If you get a knock, don't worry about it. Cool, got it, no big deal. So I'm, like, going left, right. I'm like, no, 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 no. And I'm about to try, I'm, like, trying to, I was about to ask the other guy, I'm shooting, like, which one are you going to fucking shoot at, dog? No time. I'm like, eeny, meeny, miny, I get to the last one that's under the train. I'm like, fuck it. He says three. I shoot. The second I shoot, the little bit of recoil this gun has, surprisingly no recoil, like almost no recoil. With a little bit of recoil that I have, it like kicks the battery pack back out of this this scope, and my scope goes dark. And I was like, oh, fuck. I missed, dude. I fucking missed. And I just, I lean, like I, I just put my gun up, and I'm like, I just say, Randy, my scope's dark. He's like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, like, you see these two hogs run by, and he just starts clapping their shit. Just pow, 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 pow. Just domes their shit. So, they die. He's like, all right, you guys injured them. I put them out of their misery. Whatever, they're your kills. You guys can have them. Um, I look here with the other guy. I was like, hey, which one did you shoot? Like, I shot the one on the left, the far left. I was like, cool, I shot the one on the far right. So, we go over there. We, we spec them out. I put the picture in my Discord. We scope him out. He's like, dude, whoever shot this big one, the one that was on the right, you shot it right in the face. And I was like, hell yeah. He's like, where were you aiming? I like, well, I was aiming kind of like behind the shoulder blade over here. I wanted to get behind that that pad they have on their shoulder blade, that big like plate of fat and muscle. I wanted to get back behind that. But like as soon as I went to shoot, it like turned kind of kind of back towards us or kind of back away. And so when I when it turned, I shot it like back through the backside of its jaw, like, 
Like from the, it went from like the base of its jaw, like out the front of its face. I was like, bro, that's cool as shit. So he looked at me and the guy that I was with, and he was like, "It's like, damn man, these boys can shoot." And I was like, "Hell yeah, I can shoot, man! I can shoot the fuck out of a gun. I don't give a shit." But yeah, bro. So we do that. We shoot these pigs. We're driving around. Let's go find some more pigs to shoot. All right. So we look out. We we see some more, but we can't ever get close enough to them. Like they're on these big ass fields, and like every time we try and get across the field, they're already like way gone. Like we can't catch up to them. They're like constantly moving just right outside of where we can shoot at them, or they keep going into like big thickets that we can't get into, or we can't like shoot confidently into. So we don't find any more. We're like, all right, well, let's call it a night. It's like fifteen fucking degrees out here. Let's go home. So we're going back. And out of nowhere, he just slams on the brakes, and he's like, hey, everybody look to your left. We look out to the left, and, like, he sees it on the thermal, and I can't quite make out what the fuck it is, but there's this this pretty big thing that's, like, leaned up against a tree. It's pretty fucking big. He, like, he gets out of the side-by-side and, like, walks, like, I don't know, maybe 10 yards closer, and he, like, he kind of walks up to the side, it was like a little bit of a raise because he wants to kind of get up so he can see at it. And he walks over there, and I'm watching the thermal. Like he has this big like TV screen right in the fr- like the front dash, like a, up high on the in the side by side. I'm looking at it, and this thing like grabs a hold of the tree and like goes to climb up it. Weird as fuck. He takes another step towards it. It drops down, turns like broadside to us. <clears throat> There's no like tail flicking around, nothing like that. It's not big enough to be a bear. <clears throat> but it's I don't think it's a mountain like there's like no tail flicking around like the thermal image all you could see was like a quadruped with a big ass head but it wasn't a coyote I think it was a fucking wolf I don't think it was a dog because if it was a dog it would have been barking but bro like it was the weirdest shit ever like within an instant this thing turned broadside looked directly at us even though we're we're completely blacked out like we have no lights on Nothing. The only light that's on the cabin is this iPad, and it's as dim as it will go. Like you, you could not see the iPad from outside of. You could not see the light of the iPad from the outside of the vehicle, at least with human eyes. So that could, you know. So anyway, we look at it, and bro, within an instant, he like he turns, comes back to the side by side, still there. He's like, "All right, let's see what this thing is." By the time we all like. By the time we all open our doors, it's gone. Like, it just, like, none of us took our eyes off of this big ass screen he has. It's gone. Just van, like, just like, it, it's almost like it vanished. Like, it turned, took one step, and it completely was off the thermal scan. And we're in a field. Like, we're in a fucking field. We are in a cow pasture. This thing just, like, it turned its body away from us and just, like, completely. So we had a uh, black is hot. It's black hot infrared. Meaning, like, if you get a thermal image, it would be like, like me, I would be, like, I would be jet black right now if it was looking at me. And everything else around me would be, like, whitish cream. This thing, inst- dude, it was so fucking spooky. Just, like, turn the corner, white. Like, what? And he just, he looked at me, and he looked at all of us in the cab, and he just went, what the fuck is that? And I was like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. And he's like, all right, let's call it a night. Let's get the fuck out of here. We'll come back at a different time. We'll kill some more hogs. They're just, they're down for bedding tonight. We just can't seem to get a hold of him. We'll try again later. And I was like, all right, cool. But yeah, bro, he's like, I've never seen that shit in my life. He's like, I've been hunting hogs ever since I was a little kid. I've never seen that. He's like, I don't know what the fuck that thing was. And dude, it made my hair stand up on the back of my neck. I was like, oh, fuck. We're about to get fucked in the ass, bro. So that's my hog hunting story. I domed that bitch. Oh, I domed that bitch's shit. Let me go grab the, uh, the spigot of the fucking helium. Give me a second. Yeah, dude, check it out. Shot that sucker clean, boy. Oh, 
Hell yeah, brother. Shut that song bitch off there. Hell yeah, man. So, that is my hog slash alien story. Yeah, so it was cool, man. It was cool. I guesstimated that that guy had probably a quarter of a million dollar setup. Like, like vehicle, trailer, rig, guns, ammo, accessories, probably a quarter of a million plus. Maybe 300K. Crazy shit I've ever seen in my life, dude. And I was like, why do you do this? And he's like, I don't know, it's fun, tax write-off. And I was like, okay. He's like, yeah, I lead, I lead guided hog hunts every weekend. So, I just do it because it's fun as hell. And I just want to shoot shit. And I was like, why do you get like the the big time baller big dick guns? He's like, why not? Tax write-off. And I was like, okay, all right, hell yeah. And, like, they're a nuisance animal in Texas. Like, you you can kill as many as you want. You can kill as many as you want. He told me, he's like, bro, if we roll up on, like, a big herd of, like, a dozen, he's like, if we kill all a dozen, that's a good thing. Like, they are fucking nuisance animals. Yeah. Yeah, literally vermin hunting, seven-figure income. Yeah, because he, so he makes, it's $250 a person, and then you pay per bullet. So $250 a person Plus ammunition. You pay for the ammunition, he supplies the guns. Uh, or you pay him for the ammunition that he has. Unless you would like to bring your own and or own gun. But predominantly, you bring, like, you use his shit. But, uh, so $250 a person for a night plus bullets. So you're looking at, so let's say you bring, so he brought three of us. So that's 750 bucks for one night. One. He does that three nights a week. <laughs> So let's just say he sticks at seven hundred and fifty dollars a night times three. That's twenty two fifty a week. That's two grand a week. That's eight k a month. That's almost a hundred. That's over a hundred G's in a year from hog hunting, just hunting hog, just killing hog. And he also runs his own business in the place that we were at. Like he runs his own business Monday through Friday. Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, he does guided hog hunts. So, like, yeah, he's like, yeah, dude, I make stupid money. I make ignorant fucking money. And I just do this because it's fun as hell, and it's an easy easy tax write-off. He's like, I really don't clear a whole lot of profit for, for the most part. He's like, I, I don't clear, like, a massive amount of profit. He said, but I can write, like, 80% of this shit off, and I can have a blast, and I just keep the rest as pocket change. Like, it's all play money to me. He's like, I just do whatever the hell I want with it. Like, if I want to go buy some shit or, like, if I want to upgrade any equipment, like, I have all this extra money I just stored away in my hog hunting business. If I want to go buy it, I just pull it out, go buy it, ride it off, call it a day. It's like, holy fuck, bro. Super cool. Last little thing. Last little thing, and then I'll call it here. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap the YouTube video up, I promise. But one thing that was really wild to me, this bro, did, this guy did not stop dipping fucking skull the whole time this dude went through three cans of skull in one night at one point from lip to lip like here to here completely full of skull his lip was like like all the way out there bro i think that's how he stays up just like massive nick bro it was bro oh my god it was crazy bro anyway funny story that's what it is hog hunting aliens money w